All right, so this is a, the three point drawing tool. And I'll start with the spreadsheet. It's fairly basic. Basically, what it does is it extends the slope of a line mathematically. And the slope of a line is defined fairly easily as the change in the y coordinate as you change one unit of the x coordinate. Yeah, so if we look at uh, Macquarie Group, MQG, uh, if I go back to Stock Doctor and look at the graph. Okay, so Macquarie Group, so I'm just at the top so you can see it's Macquarie Group. We're looking for the byline, so we, uh, we take the highest point, which is January 2020, and the price there was $1.4477. And then we're going to use the next highest point to the right in this case, which is uh, February 2020, and that price is $1.3483. And I'm going to swap back to my uh, spreadsheet and put those in. So I'm going to write those down because I kind of have to use Zoom to change that again. So $1.4470 and $1.34. 83 and we also need to know how much time is between those two points which in this case is just one month and then we also need to know how long we want to extend the, the slope for which in this case is another one two three months so i'll go back into into my spreadsheet i'll okay now uh high point one was 144.77 High point two was 134.83. Number of months between those two points was one. So the slope, it's negative because it's going down. So it's minus 9.94. And we wanted to extend it for three months because it's close to the right hand uh, axis. And so where that line crosses the Y axis is $1.05 according to this. Yeah, and we get a price of $1.05 which is a bit different to what we said before in the podcast. I think we looked at it using a ruler and we got it around, a, uh, sorry, not $1.05, 105 I think given its ex-dividend today, it's starting to drop. Uh, I think when we, last week when I started to buy, the share was $1.11 and above the, the price, but it's been coming down. So I will hold this and, and wait and see what happens over the coming week or so. I expect it to bounce back up again once the dividend clears. So we can put the low price, the low, the sell point in. So the sell line on this would be uh, the lowest point on the graph is 29th of April 2016, and that's at $63.50. The next lowest point was la eight, sorry, March, end of March at 85.75. And then we need to know how many months in between. So I just count them manually. So there's seven, so 47 months in between, and we're just extrapolating by two months. All right, back in the spreadsheet, I'm putting in the low point, uh, sorry, 63.50. I'm putting in the next low point, 85.75, or the rightmost low point, I should say. There was 47 months in between, and we're extending for two. So I get a sell price at $86.70. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, if, we, if you want to just do another example quickly, which won't be maybe as obvious, um, if, I, if I copy this, I just copy it. Start again, if we look at say the reject shop, which was one of the questions we had during the podcast. So yes, uh, and I'll just make some notes here. So when the graph comes up, we have high point of $13.60. And that's back in March, 2016. And uh, I, think, I think from memory, we some of the people on the, the Facebook group drew two lines for this. So we'll do both just to see how they look. Sec the second uh, peak to the right of the highest peak. So second highest peak is uh, $12.51. And that's in the July 16. So there's four months difference there. And then we're going from July 16 to May 20. So that's What's that? Three, three months, three years, sorry. So 36 months and July's uh, nine months. So it's going to be 45 months we're extending it by. Uh, if I do that one, do that one first, I'll go back into the spreadsheet. Okay, so the high point was 
$13.60. The second highest point was $12.51. There was four months between and we're extending for 45 months. So I get a target price of 24 cents if I do that. Let me go back and have a look at Stock Doctor. And if I run a ruler across those points, yeah, so what I'm seeing is that if I use the high point and the second highest point, the buy line actually crosses very early on. Um, if, if Like at uh, around $2, which was back in May of 2019. And if I keep going with that line, it goes all the way down and crosses the x-axis at around 20 cents. So... Um, that's what mathematically it's saying. So that, that means it's been in an uptrend for a while. So we can use that or we can use the, the highest point and then the rightmost highest peak. And if I run those numbers, we still have the $13.60 high point back in March of 2016. And we have the more recent high point in January 20, and that's at $4.72. And I'm going to have to count these months in between. So 46 months in between. I'm hoping this will be the sort of embryo for someone to automate this completely, which would be really good. I'm really hoping we get to a stage where everything's automated and it takes the guesswork out. Although there is a bit of guesswork in this one because we've got um, two graphs I'm, I'm drawing here, two lines I'm drawing here, the highest peak and the second highest peak, and then the highest peak and the rightmost highest peak. So the, I'm just going to put in 472 and the distance between those was 46 months and I'm only extending for four. So this time I get a, a, a buy price of $3.94. And if I go back and look at the uh, share the stock doctor graph with you, $3.94. And that's, yeah, that's, that's probably a more realistic buy price and it's more recent buy price. Yeah. Uh, it's still above that at $4.50. Either way, it's above the buy price with either line. Uh, and I guess you can make your own decision about which one you want to use. I'd probably be using the $4, uh, $3.90 price because it's more recent. So share that with people, Cam, and uh, play around with it, folks. And I hope it makes sense and uh, come back with questions. Like I said, I'm hoping that by mathemat mathematically doing this part of the process, that we can build on that and, and automate the entire process eventually. Okay, see ya.